Hello and welcome to episode 10 of my <clears throat> How to Set Up Todoist uh, series. In today's episode, I'm going to go through how I do a mini review. At the Now, the mini review is what I do at the end of every day. And it just makes sure that I have collected everything and assigned anything that needs to be done. And rescheduled any projects, any tasks that I have in projects. Um, to another day if I wish to do that. So, um, now, I've set up a few uh, inbox items here. So if we look up here, this is my inbox. These are what I've collected today, just for example. And I have five remaining tasks today which I haven't completed yet. And so what I can do is I go into my filters and hit my dashboard. Now, if you remember... From the episode I did, I think it was episode maybe six, setting up filters, maybe episode seven, you will have noticed that uh, I created a filter called Dashboard. And to remind you, if some of you have skipped that episode, this filter is overdue, the, the code for the filter is overdue, comma, today, comma, P double dot or P colon, inbox. Now, if you want your inbox to show at the top, all you have to do is change the order round. So, for example, I can now put uh, P inbox, comma, and then save that. And you'll notice that now I put my inbox at the top. So the filters go in the order that you have uh, set them up. Uh, actually, I think I prefer that. Um, so... When I come to the end of the day, I finished all the tasks that I really want to complete for the day. I look at what I have left uh, on my today list. And I can also see in this view, I can also see what's in my inbox. Now, the only thing I found that I can't do, which I would love to do, is if you notice, when I, if I put my um, cursor to the side of the Continue Writing Business Creativity book, I, have, I can move this project around. That's great. However, in the project box here, I can't actually move that. Now, this may be something I'm going to put into the feature request uh, to Todoist because uh, what it means is for me to move my inbox items, I need to go into the inbox itself. However, the reason the dashboard is still very useful is that I now have a view to see everything I've collected today and all my remaining tasks. And this is why I find this crucial for my mini review. So if I look at my um, today list now, let's go start with today. So I'll just clear, go into today. Uh, continue writing business credit. Now this is a, I know that this is a uh, repeat every day task. And so I can just tick that off and it's going to return tomorrow. Edit YouTube video. Uh, that's something I will do as soon as I finished this particular uh, video for you. Decide on print materials for purple inflatable frog. Now, I didn't get around to deciding on that, and it's something that I perhaps want to do um, tomorrow, or uh, maybe I'm going to schedule it a little, probably to next week. However, one of the beauties here of Todoist is if you click on the three dots, you've got a uh, schedule. And you can click today, which is a bit silly because obviously it's the end of the day. I could put postpone to tomorrow, uh, which in this case I could do. Postpone till next week. And that will go forward until Monday, which is this is Sunday today. Then obviously it'll just go to tomorrow. Or if I click on this, I can pick a date from the date picker. So I'm going to choose for tomorrow. So I can click that. And notice it immediately disappears. Update credit card payments is something I do daily, as you can see on here, and add expenses to Spendy, which is an, ad, an app for uh, monitoring where I'm spending my money. So I can add, I'll click that, probably do that while I'm going through my mini review. Um, going into my inbox now, this is where I would start processing uh, my tasks for the day. Uh, I hate to go to bed with... Um, anything in my inbox. So send them Fatable Frog's proposal to Tim. Now I'm going to go in and I always, this is something I'll do by email. Um, so email, I'm going to do that one tomorrow. So I can just type in Tom and I want. I need to do that tomorrow morning. And if you remember the way I use flags, red flag is something I must do today. 
orange flag or priority two is a task that has to be done in the morning and priority three is an afternoon task. So I'm going to do that one in the morning. It's not particularly urgent. Uh, arrange team meeting for the marketing and design teams. I need to do that uh, by, again, by uh, email. So we'll do that by email and I'm going to schedule that for... Let's do that one for Wednesday. And again, I'm going to flag that actually for the morning because I'll set that up. A cancel appointment with Joan next week. Actually, what I would probably do is I would send the message now um, simply because I'm in my inbox. Uh, it's a less than two minute task. I'm just going to send that to I'm going to do that now. Da, 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 done. Tick it off and ask RK. RK being my wife, where she's like, where she'd like to go on holiday this year. Um, I need to do that at home. And actually, I think I may have already set one up for my wife. No, uh, some usually I would set up a label for my wife, and so I've got a list of things that I need to ask her. I will do that uh, next week on Saturday when we have our date night. So. Saturday, date night is an evening, uh, so I can leave that as yellow, a white flag. Um, and that's it. Now, all you have to do is just drag these to their projects and send inflatable, well, that's an inflatable frog project. Arrange team meeting for marketing teams, that's the inflatable frog project. And ask RK where she'd like to go for vacation. Uh, I actually don't have, I can just put that one into my home project, um, the main project. And that's it. So when I go back to my filter and look at the dashboard, all I have left is my today tasks, which I would do just before I go to bed. And that, my dear re uh, watchers, that is a mini review. And it can be done in less than five minutes. Usually I have about 10 items in my inbox and yeah, I've got to do some thinking. So perhaps it would take about 10, 15 minutes. <coughs> but... The reason why we do a mini review is simply so that you can see what you've done for the day, what needs to be done. One more thing before I finish this episode. Another thing about the mini review is I do tend to have a look and see what's coming up tomorrow. I can then see if I'm going to be particularly busy. Um, if you remember, I've got continue writing business creativity, but that's my priority task at the moment. And these are my morning tasks. And then these are my afternoon tasks. And then I've got my end of day tasks here. So I can uh, have a look at these and just see if there's anything that doesn't really need to be done. And if I need to, I can just change the dates in these very easily. Um, Tuesday's never really a problem, Wednesdays. Um, but that's what I would do. I check for the next day. Sunday is usually my big weekly review, which I will do in another episode to show you how I do a weekly review in Todoist. But that's it. That's how I do a week uh, a mini review and I use the dashboard filter. So just for you guys, I'll show you what the code for that is again. It's p colon inbox comma overdue comma today. And that will show you both your inbox tasks, your overdue tasks and your today tasks. And that's it. I hope you found this episode useful. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, have a great week.